how are you? Today, culture video number 15, I'm going to talk about omatsuri festivals, but this time festivals, but about food. Tabemono. This kanji is like this. Tabe, it comes from the verb tabemas. Tabemas, this to eat. Tabemas. And ta- this is mas form, and without mas, only tabe. And mono, we add mono, mono, this is a thing. Thing that you eat. Tabemono, food. The first one is okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki. Okonomi, it means what you like. Yaki, it comes from the, from the verb. Yakimas. Yakimas, it means to roast, to grill, like this, or to bake, all kinds of things. Yakimas. Okonomi, what you like, because this second kanji, it is also ski. Ski, it means I like, I love, I, 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 I like. So, this is some kind of thing with the ingredients that you like. Okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki? It's a Japanese savory pancake containing a variety of ingredients in a wheat flour based batter. It is an example of konamono. Konamono, it means the flour based Japanese cuisine. The name is derived from the word okonomi, meaning how you like or what you like. And yaki meaning cooked, usually fried. Okonomiyaki is mainly associated with Kansai or Hiroshima areas of Japan, but it is widely available throughout the country. Toppings and batters tend to vary according to region. You can eat okonomiyaki in food store in the street when, it is, when there's festivals. But also, you can eat them in some restaurants. Some okonomiyaki restaurants are grill it yourself establishments, where the server produces a bowl of raw ingredients that the customer mixes and grills at tables fitted with teppan or special hot plates. They may also have a diner style counter. Where the cook prepares the dish in front of the customers. Just in the previous picture, you saw katsuobushi on the top of okonomiyaki. That is topping. I'm gonna explain you about this katsuobushi. This is steamed, smoked, and fermented skipjack tuna or bonito. It is also known as bonito flakes. Katsuobushi or similarly prepared fish is also known as okaka. Shaved katsuobushi and dried kelp, this is kombu, this is kind of seaweed, are the main ingredients of dashi. A broth that forms the basis of many soups. Such as miso shiru, miso soup, and sauces, sauces for soba, for example. So, this katsuobushi is used very, very much in Japanese cuisine. The second one, ika yaki. Ika, it means squid. Yaki, this grilled. So, ika yaki, grilled squid. I think you are you are going to be very hungry. Ikayaki is a popular fast food in Japan. In the term it refers to simple grilled squid topped with soy sauce. The portion of squid served maybe the whole body, minus entrails or rings cut from the body, or one or more tentacles, depending on the size. Ikayaki is served in many izakayas, and a grilled tentacles on a stick is popular at Japanese festivals in omatsuri. Almost everybody 
loves this food. Yakisoba. 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 Fried noodle is a Japanese noodle stir fry dish. Usually, soba means buckwheat, but soba ni yakisoba means Chinese noodles made from wheat flour and are typically flavored with a condimental sauce. The dish first appeared in food stalls in Japan during the post World War II period. Yakisoba is prepared by frying ramen style wheat noodles, also called Chinese noodles, with bite sized pork and finally chopped vegetables like cabbage. Cabbage is very important. Cabbage, onions, bean sprouts, and carrots. Well, this is the basic style. But you can, you can add any kind of vegetables. Then, flavored with yakisoba sauce, salt, and pepper, it can be served with a variety of garnishes such as aonori, this is seaweed powder, or benishoga, shredded pickled ginger, and of course, katsuobushi, bonito fish flakes. That is super, very, very good. Delicious that one. Or Japanese style mayonnaise. Takoyaki. Tako, it means octopus. Octopus. And all this kind of food, you can eat them in omatsuri. Omatsuri, this is a festival. About one month ago, I talked about summer festivals. But for example, now in autumn, there's also autumn festivals. We say aki matsuri, but this is omatsuri. Here in this picture, you can see how takoyaki is prepared in the street, in the festival. Well, takoyaki or octopus balls is a bowl shaped Japanese snack made of a wheat flour based batter and cooked in a special molded pan. Takoyaki is typically filled with minced or diced octopus. This is called ta taco. Taco is octopus. And tempura scraps, that is called tenkasu. Or pickled ginger, benishoga, and green onion, negi. The bowls are brushed with takoyaki sauce. And then sprinkled with green labor aonori and shavings of dried bonito. This is katsuobushi. Taiyaki. Taiyaki. This is sweet thing. Well, taiyaki, this is fish shaped cake. And this tai, you see this kanji, that left part, this is sakana. Sakana, it means fish. And Tai, the name of this fish, Tai, this sea bream. Sea bream is Tai. So, Taiyaki, fish shaped cake. Taiyaki literally means like a baked sea bream. It's a Japanese fish shaped cake, commonly sold. As street food. It imitates the shape of Thai red sea bream, which it is named after. The most common filling, filling is red bean paste that is made from sweetened azuki beans. Other common filling may be custard, custard cream, chocolate, cheese. Or sweet potato. Taiyaki is made using regular pancake or waffle batter. The batter is poured into a fish shaped mold for each side. The filling is then put on one side and the mold is closed. It is then cooked on both sides 
until golden brown. Baby castera. Baby castera. Well, this baby, it means baby. So this is, it means small. Castera. Castera, this is sponge cake. So baby castera, it means small sponge cake. I show you here the picture of baby castera. Baby castera is the one of the varieties of castera. Well, let me explain you about castera at first. Castera is kind of wagashi, a Japanese traditional confectionery, but originally developed in Japan based on the Nanban confectionery, imported from abroad to Japan during the Azuchi Momoyama period, 16th century. The batter is poured into large square or rectangular molds, baked in an oven and cut into long rectangular shapes. Since the recipe calls for mizuame, a type of sugar syrup, castella has a moist texture. But this picture is, as I told you, baby castella, especially for omatsuri. You see here how to make baby castella for the festivals. But I'm going to continue about the history. Nowadays, the speciality of Nagasaki, Nagasaki is the city, this is castera, and the cake was brought to Japan by Portuguese merchant in the 16th century. The name is deri de derived from Portuguese pao do castela, meaning bread from Castilla. Castera cake is usually sold in long boxes with the cake inside being approximately 27 centimeters long. It is somewhat similar to Madeira cake, also associated with Portugal, but its closest relative is to Pau de Lo, also a Portuguese cake. In this picture, you can see the fillings of this baby castera, baby castera, such as Anko, azuki, or custard cream, chocolate, and cheese, etc. But I'm going to continue to talk about a little bit of a history. In the 16th century, the Portuguese reached Japan and soon started trade and missionary work. Nagasaki was then the only Japanese port open for foreign commerce. The Portuguese introduced many then unusual things such as guns, tobacco, and pumpkins. The cake, this castella cake, could be stored for a long time and so it was so useful for the sailors who were out on the sea for months. In the Edo period, in part due to the cost of sugar, castella was a very expensive dessert to make this bud, despite the ingredients sold by the Portuguese. Now you can see baby castella with a filling with azuki. This is the most popular one. Well, when the emperor of Japan's envoy was invited, the Tokugawa shogunate presented the castella, this, this castella. Over the years, the taste changed to suit Japanese palates. So nowadays, the taste is quite different. In this picture, you can see the other type with white cheese or cream cheese in it in Baby Castera. Well, nowadays there are many, many varieties made with ingredients, ingredients such as powdered green tea, brown sugar, and honey. They may be molded in various shapes. A popular Japanese festival food is Baby Castera, a bite-sized version. We say Baby Castera. 
and also Siberia Castella cake filled with yokan, yokan is sweet bean jelly, was popular in the Meiji era. It had a resurgence since it appeared in the 2013 animated film The Wind Rises by Hayao Miyazaki. Castella mix is used for the pancakes, pancakes that are sandwiched together with sweet azuki bean paste in the confection known as dorayaki. You know, Doraemon loves dorayaki. Kakigori. Kakigori. Well, this kori, the, the, the last kanji, it's very similar to water, right? Mizu. But the first we must write ten, and then after this mizu. And this we only, only this kanji we pronounce kori, kori ice. But here, kakigori. This is shaved ice. Shaved ice with flavored syrup on it. Well, this is very. So, kakigori is not for all the festivals. For example, the autumn festivals, maybe not. Kakigori is eaten usually in Natsu Matsuri, summer festivals, because this is ice, so it's very, very cold. And my favorite is matcha, matcha kakigori. Matcha is green tea. And this kakigori, this is historical. It's not nowadays. From Heian Jidai, kakigori was there. Because Seisho Nagon, very, very intelligent woman in this period, Heian Jidai, from 794 till 1185, this period, Heian Jidai, the period of the nobles, and Seisho Nagon was,、uh, wrote in a book about kakigori. And she was eating kakigori, and in,、uh, in that time, kakigori was something so, so gorgeous. Kakigori is a Japanese shaved ice dessert flavored with syrup and a sweetener, often condensed milk. Popular flavors include strawberry, cherry, lemon, green tea, grape, melon, blue Hawaii, sweet plum, and colorless syrup. Some shops Provide colorful varieties by using two or more syrups. To sweeten kakigori, condensed or evaporated milk is often poured on top of it. In addition to street stores, kakigori is sold in festivals, convenience stores, konbini, coffee shops, specialized kakigori parlors, and restaurants. It's also frequently prepared by families at home. During the hot summer months, kakigori is sold virtually everywhere in Japan, especially at summer festivals and fairs such as omatsuri and bongodori festivals, often served alongside other street food such as yakisoba, takoyaki, and cotton candy. Kakigori is one of the summer features in Japan. Some shops serve it with ice cream and sweetened red beans or tapioca pearls. Look at this wonderful kakigori. These kakigori are so special that you cannot eat in omatsuri but in specialized kakigori parlor. Nowadays, there are some parlors so,、uh, like this. There are lots of special kakigori even in winter because they are so special. And even if you eat them in the winter time, it doesn't make you、mm, have a headache. So, so special one. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to tell you about a little bit of history. The origins of kakigori date back to the Heian period in Japanese history. When blocks of ice saved during the colder months would be shaved and served with sweet syrup to Japanese 
aristocracy during the summer. Kakigori's origin is referred to in the Pillow Book, a book of observations written by Seisho Nagon, who served the imperial court during the Heian period. Kakigori became more accessible in the 19th century when ice became more widely available to the public during the summertime. The first kakigori store is believed to have opened in Yokohama in 1869. Here you can see the other so wonderful example of kakigori in the special store. Well, but anyway, I'm going to tell you how to make it usually. The traditional way of making kakigori uses a hand cracked machine to spin a block of ice over a shaving blade. Even though electric shavers are most often used, street vendors can still be seen hand shaving ice blocks in the summer. Rather than flavored ice, kakigori is traditionally traditionally made of pure ice, in many cases being a frozen, frozen block of mineral water, and sometimes very, very special mineral water with some disc from the mountain of this mountain, so special water. So the, this ice is just so transparent like that, so, so something so special. The ice used is often taken from natural springs, afterward being tempered to achieve an ideal quality for shaving. Prior to refrigeration, mountain caves or ice houses would be the traditional way of storing kakigori ice. It's similar to a snow cone but with some notable differences. It has a much smoother fufier ice consistency, much like fresh fallen snow. And a spoon is almost always used to eat it. The texture of the ice distinguishes kakigori from other types of shaved ice desserts. Due to this textural difference, it has also been seen translated as angel snow, which perhaps sounds more appealing. Choco banana. Choco banana. Choco comes with chocolate. Banana, banana. So choco banana. Choco banana is basically a chocolate covered bananas with sticks, commonly eaten at summer festivals in Japan. It's so delicious, but it's not something that you can get anywhere. It's quite challenging to make the exact same choco banana at home. And you don't see choco banana at any supermarkets. That's probably why people love it so much and line up to try choco banana at summer festivals. Milk chocolate is the standard one, but at some festivals, you get to try colorful and fun choco banana. Sometimes they have chocolates and snacks at toppings too, which makes choco banana more luxurious. Lingo ame. Lingo ame. Well, lingo? This is apples. And only this one, ame. Ame. It means candies. Candies. Well, ame, if I say ame with intonation with a, Ame, ame, this is rain, but ame, ame, this is candies. But here, this is so com compound, lingo ame. So I don't say lingo ame, but lingo ame, lingo ame, candied apples. Lingo ame in Japanese are a very popular treat in Japan. You will always find at least one lingo ame store at a Japanese festival. Thinking about Japanese festivals, one image that always comes is with girls dressed in yukata, elegantly holding a lingo ame. The origin of the candy apple 
in the Western world was tra tra traced back to 1908, when a candy maker from New York produced the first candied apples. However, there is also a very similar traditional treat in China, so we cannot be sure how this confectionery first appeared in Japan. And nowadays, not only apples, but also the other fruits can be like these candied fruits. For example, apricot. Candied apricots, it is called anzu ame. Anzu ame. Cotton candy or candy floss. Wata ame. Wata ame. Because wata, this means cotton. Cotton. And if I want to say, oh, this clothes is made of cotton, and in this case, the same kanji, but we say men, men. It means cotton too. Wata ame. So you know, wata ame, this is a, a cotton candy. Cotton candies, we say wata ame. Cotton candy, also known as fairy floss or candy floss, is a spun sugar confection that resembles cotton. It usually contains small amounts of flavoring, flavoring or food coloring. And you can buy this in festival in Japan too. Now I'm going to talk about drinks. Nomi mono. Nomi mono. Nomi, it comes from the verb nomimas. Nomimas, it means to drink. Mm, to drink. Then, nomimas, without mas, we take it off mas. Then, nomi, this is the root, nomi, and mono, the thing, nomi mono, drinks, drinks. Ramune, this is ramune soda drink. This is very peculiar, but this ramune soda drink, origin is not, not Japanese. Actually, this is from Meiji Jidai the period Meiji. This was from 1868 till 1912. Do you know what kind of era was it? This is just after the Edo Jidai. So now in Meiji Jidai, yeah, samurai was prohibited. And so uh, Japan tried to, to moderniz modernization this time in Meiji Jidai. So many foreign foreign people came to Japan. So the Ramune, the origin, was from England. <laughs> the English people brought lemonade. Lemonade. Then Japanese people listened to that. Lemonade. 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 Lemo. And then they listened to like this, something like Ramune. Lemonade. Ramune. So we say now Ramune this kind of soda drink. But ramune, actually there are two types. One is drink, so ramune, this is soda drink. But the other one is ramune candy. So this is the sweet candies. Ramune is a Japanese carbonated soft drink. And it's known for the distinctive design for, of its bottle, called cod neck bottles after their inventor, Mr. Cod. They are made of glass and sealed with a marble. The cod head is held in place by the pressure of the carbonation in the drink. To open the bottle, a plastic device used to push the marble inward is provided. The marble is pushed inside the neck of the bottle, where it raffles around while drinking. Therefore, the drinks are sometimes called marble soda outside Japan. While the cut neck bottle was once commonly used for carbonated drinks, today, ramune, along with banta, is one of its new, very new users. People trying ramune for the first time sometimes find it difficult to drink. 
as it takes practice to learn to stop the marble from blocking the flow. In one version of the battle introduced in 2006, little slots were added to the cap where the marble was originally held. This prevented the flow from obstruction. If the marble falls back into the cap, Ramune is also available in plastic pet bottles and cans. Ramune is one of the modern symbols of summer in Japan and is widely consumed during warm festival days and nights. Empty bottles are usually collected for recycling at stores where it is sold. When we say Ramune, it can be drinks, also, it can be candies like this, and this is with a very colorful wrapping. This candy is very different from other candies because Ramune soda fizzy candy. This is so, the, the texture is porous and chalky. So it's quite amazing. And the flavor is like Ramune. It means it's like a soft Lemonade drinks. Today you learned about Japanese food, tabemono, that you can eat in omatsuri, in the festivals. Did you like this video? If so, please give me a like. And if you, if, you, if you can subscribe my channel, please do it. And also, if you can share my videos to your friends, that will help me a lot. Please, I will 今日はお祭りで食べることができる食べ物についてお話しさせていただきました。このビデオが気に入っていただけたら、どうかいいねボタン、そしてチャンネル登録、それから私のビデオをお友達に紹介していただけたら、とてもとても助かります。ぜひお